Herodotus has the examination is coming nearer. We have better to take a look at the paper style. The syllabus contains chapter 3, 4 and 5. The question paper will carry maximum marks 80. Total 80 marks will be there for the paper. The paper is divided into four sections. Section A, question one of section A, question one A is select the correct word from the brackets. You will be given one to six statements. There will be two words in bracket in each statement. One word may be correct, the other word may be incorrect. So you have to select the correct word, underline it, strike out the incorrect to get Ten marks. You have to write any five out of the given six statements. This question is very easy. You simply have to find out which one is the correct word. You have to mark it, select it correct to get ten marks. Question one B will be fill in the blanks. You will be given six statements. There will be blanks in the statements. You have to fill the blanks correctly. This one is very easy to see. You, you have to write <coughs> any five out of six. This will give you ten big marks. Read carefully, write correctly. Question 1C is also carrying six statements. Some statements may be true, some statements may be false. <coughs> you have to write T for the true statement and F for the false statement. And in five you have to write to get this one is very easy, you simply have to identify correct or incorrect statements. Question 1B. There will be two columns given to you of five statements, five words. You have to match the correct pairs of from column 1 to the pair given in the column 2. It carries 5 marks and in this way section A carries 30 good marks. Over to section B. This section is important. It carries 25 marks in all. Section B has question 2K. Answer the following questions in short. Any five. You will be asked six questions. You have to write five questions. You have to answer five questions. Any five. In short. In one word or one sentence, it 
is sufficient. You read five answers to get ten big marks. So, dear students, try to prepare these questions very well. This is an important section of your paper. Pay proper attention, prepare well, and get good marks from this. Question two B. Answer the following questions in two or three sentences. Any five words to answer. You will be asked six questions in this. B. You have to write any five to get fifteen big marks. Therefore, each question carries three marks. So, dear students, you have to write every question. Five, any five out of six. See that you write correctly at least in two, three sentences. So, pay proper attention for answering this question because it carries a lion's share. Means highest score of marks, 15 big marks. And each question carries 3 marks. Therefore, you have to write any five to get 15 marks. Most of the students, many of the students, sometimes neglect such questions. But see that these are very important questions and try to answer them correctly, accurately and perfectly. Over to section C, question number 3A. Analyze the nouns in the following list. Section C contains Fifteen marks. This question, this section is based on grammar preparation. You have to underline the nouns. Some words will be given to you. You simply have to underline the nouns or write the nouns and underline. There are many types of words, pronouns, nouns, describing words. Action words, joining words, like that. So you have to identify whether the given word is a noun or a describing word or another, anything else. Whether the given word is noun or not. If it is a noun, underline. If it is not, not a noun, leave it. So this question is very easy for you to score. Grammar is always easy to score good marks. It is a scoring section. Grammar section is really a scoring section and don't take it lightly. Write accurately and perfectly. Question 3b. Question 3B is to write the correct pronouns in the given sentences. We have words that are used in place of nouns. If my name is, whatever my name may be, I can use I for myself. We can use we for ourselves. So the words that are used in place of nouns are called pronouns. So you have to write correct pronoun in the given sentence to get five marks. We have the pronouns I, we, my, me, mine, ours, you, you, yours, he, him, his, she, her, her, it, 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 they, them, theirs. This many are 
are the pronouns that we use instead of nouns. So, write correctly the pronouns in the given sentence to get by mark. It is very easy. Right?
carefully prepare each and every question to get good marks and good result with flying colors. Thank you and have a nice time.